hello all today we will see the uh, system requirement for the analysis uh, i mean the workstation requirements for analysis systems or cad system or workstation for cae analysis uh, for cfd analysis uh, kind of things so let's get started so these are the content how to choose the cpu how to choose motherboard uh, what should be the RAM capacity and different types of RAMs then uh, what are the different storage devices graphics cards and the importance of GPU accelerators keep learning and doing right things in life someday they will return to you as success this is the motive uh, behind uh, to be successful in the life I would like to uh, ask you to share and subscribe uh, turn on notifications and comment if you like this video hit the like button if you don't like or uh, don't hesitate to dislike hit the dislike button uh, but you are requested to subscribe to the channel to get uh, uh, more videos related to CAE simulation CAD simulation and different technologies in mechanical engineering uh, so build your own system or buy a branded one this is one of uh, one question then whether you should go with laptop or desktop nowadays workstation laptops are also available with uh, 128 gb of ram and uh, xeon processors uh, but whether to give uh, you you should go with those kind of uh, high configuration laptop or you should go with the desktop so i will answer first question build your own system or buy branded Branded system will give you a warranty of almost five years including extended warranties and the uh, system which you build will give you three years warranties on uh, most of the components. So the difference between branded and own system is that uh, most of the branded system are hardware tuned. So you will be getting maximum performance from those branded system and the same uh, you can use uh, when you uh, try to build your uh, own system only the thing is that you, you will have to study the hardware synchronization uh, little bit and uh, that's what today we will uh, look into it so definitely uh, building your own system uh, will help you uh, to save on cost side but if you are uh, using at organization level uh, uh, you should go with the branded one now again laptop versus desk desktop uh, desktops are more reliable you can uh, use their uh, uh, means you can use those desktop for long time that is not case with the laptops uh, starting with cpu specifications uh, first is how many cores the cpu has then uh, what is the frequency at which it operates that is base clock and boost clock base clock is the minimum uh, what you can say uh, the uh, without overclocking the minimum frequency of the processor boost clock is with overclocking so you can boost the performance then next is uh, cache memory so the cache memory is uh, again divided in uh, three uh, segments l1 l2 and l3 l1 is the memory which is directly accessible to processor and which is very much near the compute units L2 is on top of that and L3 is the extreme one which is on the uh, outer side of L2 uh, so uh, next is uh, what is the maximum memory uh, the CPU supports then what type of memory it supports DDR2, DDR4, uh, uh, DDR5 uh, then a number of channels quad channel and dual channel then ECC or non-ECC buffered unbuffered so you should check this specification uh, for the CPU and all these specifications are available on the uh, respective processor manufacturing uh, websites the next is PCI version and lens so lens are very important uh, uh, because if you are running uh, more than one graphics card as an uh, GPU accelerator at that time you will not be able to uh, use all the benefits of the uh, GPU accelerator if you have very low number of lanes so if you talk about thread reapers or the Xeon kind of processors they have a very high number of uh, PCIe lanes uh, 128 lanes almost so one graphics card takes almost 16 lanes uh, at full bandwidth it can work 
so likewise uh, if you have two uh, graphics cards then it will be 32 lens you will be requiring to use the complete potential of the graphics card or the gpu accelerator but uh, uh, the difference between using eight lens in uh, two bifurcations i mean uh, first graphics card working at eight lens and second is also working at eight lens so total will be 16 means you are bifurcating the 16 lane into eight and eight so in that case uh, there will be a performance drop but that is not huge one i mean hardly five to ten percent performance drop you will get uh, that is uh, still a good solution but uh, uh, price point if you talk uh, the processors price are uh, very less with the number of less uh, pci uh, lanes then uh, different instruction sets and technologies uh, we will go uh, in detail about the instruction sets and technologies so here So here you can see the different instruction sets a processor can support here Xeon Platinum uh, is the processor and it supports AVX uh, uh, 512 so AV AVX 512 is advanced vector extension uh, and it uses 512 uh, bits of data to transfer the uh, matrix calculations and process the matrix calculation here you can see l1 uh, l2 and l3 level catches and their uh, ways means eight way eight way kind of thing so here uh, you can see uh, the manufacturing technology uh, then the socket uh, the processor supports the maximum uh, tdp uh, that is thermal dissipation power uh, is 205 watts uh, so these are the different uh, uh, specifications for the CPU here you can see the current uh, speed of the core then uh, what is the burst speed uh, of the processor so this is a CPU Z uh, tool which helped you to uh, check the specification of it is a software which is used to check the specification of any laptop desktop or workstation the next is motherboard specifications motherboard is a very crucial part as it connects all other peripherals of the computer including keyboard mouse ram your hard disk ssds processors everything so the uh, the motherboard uh, is most of the time named based on chipset so if you go in the details of chipset you will find a uh, different uh, kind of uh, arrangements we will see those in the coming slides and uh, sockets sockets are uh, now uh, AMD also you uh, moved to LGA that is land grid a day and uh, previously they will be having the pins on the processor so AMD also changed that to land grid a day so you will not be having pins on the processor from Zen 4 and onwards uh, now next is uh, max memory size uh, means that motherboard can support and uh, uh, number of memory slots then memory type ddr2 ddr4 ddr3 ddr5 latest is ddr5 uh, number of channels quad channel uh, or dual channel and ecc error code correction so ecc is nothing but uh, wherein if uh, there is any missing zero or one uh, during the data transfer it can correct those uh, things then what are the different features features uh, in uh, in the sense what are the other technologies means uh, speed step technology whether it is supporting or not or overclocking uh, technologies the board is supporting or not then what are the different storage options that offers i mean uh, ssd sata then nvme is uh, kind of thing then uh, pcie versions and slots so pcie versions uh, again uh, uh, two three four five latest is the fifth one and a number of slots so and out of those slots let us say a motherboard have three slots uh, to save the cost all three slots will not be uh, x16 electrically connected few slots will be x8 connected means only eight lanes of the uh, out of the 16 lanes will be electrically connected so uh, you have to check all those things and uh, to use the multi gpu at uh, multi uh, or dual gpu setup you need at least x8 uh, by 2 configuration means 16 lanes should be divided between two pci slots uh, 
now form factor is nothing but the size of the motherboard you have atx extended atx micro atx kind of things so here uh, you can see uh, the pci express 4.0 it can support then what is the model of the motherboard so x470 is the chipset then uh, uh, msi is the manufacturer then uh, uh, chipset is amd uh, x47 and its current version then bios uh, its current version and update date so current link speed pci express 3.0 it is connected with and uh, it is connected at 8x speed so, so out of 16 if you are using only 8 so your speed will be getting half of it so 16 uh, will get divided to 8 but in actual case uh, if you see the performance difference that will not be uh, very high i mean uh, if you uh, check the uh, speed with x16 and x8 hardly uh, 10 percent that is too uh, on worst side i am saying uh, you will get the performance difference but price wise definitely the difference will be more next is ram selection so we have uh, different capacities uh, channels acc non acc buffered unbuffered what is the ram frequency rank of ram latency and class timings and overclockings so uh, i will talk uh, on uh, we know the capacities uh, 8 gb 16 gb 32 gb then channels dual channel uh, or quad channel so uh, you just uh, search on the net what are the different channels you will be able to understand it ECC is error correction code uh, during the data transfer if any missing zeros or one uh, RAM detects then it can correct that then at what frequency the RAM is working so here uh, in this example uh, here the RAM is 4 GB uh, it is DDR3 RAM uh, it is operating at uh, 1600 MHz and uh, it is SD RAM and uh, it has 240 pins it is unbuffered uh, then uh, the class latency is 11 microsecond uh, uh, then supply voltage 1.5 volt uh, then it is uh, the chip brand is Hynix so kind of uh, whether it is uh, data integrity check non ECC uh, RAM is there chip organization it has 256 bit into 8 uh, 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 you can say arrays so one two three four and uh, those four uh, maybe one two three four on this side so likewise this and uh, the warranty kind of thing now i would like to talk on a uh, latency and uh, class so that if the latency is more then uh, the ram working uh, or the data transfer rate will be somewhat slow because uh, the latency is nothing but uh, the asking rate and uh, the providing rate so and that was the gap between that timing is latency and then uh, next is overclocking if you have xmp and amd expo these are the intel extreme profile and uh, expo is for uh, extended profile for overclocking so uh, expo is for amd and xmp is for intel so if your motherboard has this feature uh, ram overclocking so in that case uh, you can overclock the ram so, so uh, though motherboards base frequency of operating the ram is let us say 16 megahertz 1600 megahertz but you can use the ram of 400 megahertz and you can increase the uh, data transfer speed then storage options we ha you have hard disk drives then solid state drives m.2 m.2 is a kind of ssd but uh, ssd has different types m.2 sata all those things then what is the cache of the cache memory of the ram and what is read and write speed so based on this you can uh, select the uh, hard disk or the storage devices so hard disk has a uh, very uh, low data transfer rate as compared to ssd and nvm is nvm is are the uh, latest one and they have very high uh, uh, bandwidth for uh, writing and uh, reading the data now next is a GPU is one of the important component when it comes to a workstation or any CAD system so here you can see the different uh, PCIe versions and their year then each lane uh, supports how much uh, speed of the data transfer and uh, 
at 16 lane how much data transfer you will be getting so let us test the pcie 5.0 here you can get a uh, single lane can get up to 4 gbps of data and uh, 16 lanes will give you a uh, 64 gbps of data theoretically uh, this value but here 63 gbps this is the actual measured value maybe this has been improved uh, right now but the point i would like to make is that uh, as the version goes on increasing uh, the data transfer rate is increasing uh, very uh, very fast almost twice at twice uh, rate so architecture wise if you talk uh, we have the different uh, gpu architectures uh, few are uh, used for wor workstations few are used for uh, multiple displays few are used for uh, the data centers few are used for scientific computation so uh, then uh, we have the capacity and memory type so gddr6 is the latest type and capacity is nothing but 2 gb 4 gb 6 gb 12 gb kind of graphics cards then how many cores uh, the graphics card has and uh, what at what frequency they are operating then pcie generation so we have seen the different generations here and their speed then video output ports means uh, the display ports what we call it as uh, so different types of ports are there dp port now c is usb type c is also supporting then uh, uh, vga port hdmi port kind of thing a dvi port is also there so api support uh, with which uh, it supports that directrix version and uh, vulkan then compute performance is at, uh, measured in uh, teraflops so based on this you can compare the different graphics cards so here uh, i have shown the uh, different graphics cards and uh, the uh, cpu and the uh, graphics cards uh, Im impact on the performance okay so here uh, you can see that four core without uh, gpu it is taking uh, almost 800 seconds of time uh, to solve a problem but if you use the f the same pc with one gpu the time has been reduced almost 350 seconds so it is more than 50 percent of the reduction uh, in the time so eight cores if you use uh, you will be getting somewhat less time and with the GPU, if you'll use that, uh, the time is uh, less. So as the number of cores are increased, uh, you can uh, see the difference between GPU and the CPU uh, is uh, less. But if the problem size is very high, at that time, definitely using a GPU will help. And one more thing I would like to highlight here is uh, if you are using uh, HPC licenses, uh, each core will ask for one license that is not case with the GPU one GPU will take uh, one license as single core but in that GPU we have lot many cores maybe 2000 4000 cores which are running at let us say 1.2 uh, gigahertz or likewise so it it has very high speed and uh, more core so it it can save you on the license side uh, the cost of license so gpu accelerators uh, uh, nvidia tesla series and amd fire pro and instinct series these are the uh, gpu accelerators which are uh, supported by most of the cae solvers uh, for the gpu acceleration purpose now uh, chipset uh, i would uh, i would like to explain the chipsets so here uh, the name of the chipset is Intel Z690. So it has uh, different inputs and outputs. So it can support 12 PCI Express 4.0 lens or 16 PCIe 3.0 lens. Then it has six SATA 6 GBPS ports. Uh, then uh, it can support four USB 3.2 generation 2 uh, uh, and two ports so likewise up to 10 usb 3.2 generation to one ports and uh, likewise it can support the inputs uh, kind of thing then it can support intel optane memory support then intel smart sound technology intel high definition audio the things which are in uh, sky blue color are optional ones so rapid storage technology with uh, red arrays and uh, intel rapid storage technology for pci express storage so these two are the optional things um, the motherboard manufacturer will 
I decide whether to offer this feature at that particular price point or not. Uh, again, then uh, it has Intel ME firmware, uh, then Intel Platform Trust technology, uh, Intel Extreme Tuning, uh, it is supporting. So again, uh, it has here, if you come uh, Intel integrated uh, PCI1 and uh, Ethernet connection, it will support means which type of LAN it will be supporting. Uh, going now above the processor. So you can see here uh, the chipset connects all the peripherals of your computer parts to the processor. So uh, in, uh, recently uh, the PCI lens are directly getting connected to processor along with the RAM. Previously only RAMs are directly connected to the processor. So uh, now here we have two option one, uh, 1 into 16 PCI Express 5.0 graphics or intel ssd it can uh, work with or you have a uh, 2 into 8 lens means uh, you will be reducing the speed to half of the bandwidth but in actual case uh, the performance loss will be not that high so graphics and intel ssd it can support so this 16 you will be splitting in uh, 2 by 8 mode and again it can support 1 into 4 uh, pc express 4.0 ssd for the uh, or Intel Optane memory it can support. So you, you have one SSD uh, directly connected to the processor. You have two graphics card running at X8 mode or one graphics card running at X16 mode to the processor. Then you have uh, two uh, RAMs means four channels will be there uh, means four slots will be there uh, two DIMMs per channel. So this is uh, there are two channels it means this is a dual channel uh, configuration and each uh, channel will have two memory slots so total um, four memory slots you will be getting here so it can support ddr5 memory at uh, 4800 megahertz speed without uh, xmp if you will use the xmp you can go up to 6000 and maybe beyond that so here again this is the pci express lane so here uh, this is connected to chipset through the uh, pci lane 4.0 into 8 so it will give you almost uh, 16 Gbps of uh, data bandwidth. Now this is a typical motherboard here you can see the PCI Express slot uh, 5.0 into x16 then this is one PCI Express slot 3.0. So uh, likewise uh, this is PCI 3 and PCI 4 it is running at 3.0 into 4 and 3.0 into 1 uh, mode. So then you have the four RAM slots here, the CPU, then uh, these are the I.O. panel input output connection to the computer. So this is the chipset where Intel Z690 is written. So he, this is M.2 slot where you will be placing the SSD. You have uh, one more M.2 slot here. So these are the main components uh, I would like to highlight. And now we will come to instruction sets advanced vector extension 512 uh, this is required for the matrix calculation and uh, it is uh, very much uh, useful uh, when it comes to solving the ca problems it will help to reduce the solution time by a large amount then next is smp ssmp that is simple super matrix processor so it will uh, it is again an instruction set which will uh, help to solve the matrix calculation floating point matrix multiply accumulate instructions this is again a matrix calculation algorithm then intel has mkl math kernel library useful for specifically for the sparse uh, matrix solver uh, in the ca simulations so uh, cad workstation if you talk about uh, for today's uh, requirement you should have at least four core processor uh, 3 plus gigahertz uh, should be the uh, frequency then 15 mb plus should be the cache memory minimum ram is uh, 16 gb uh, the thumb rule for uh, ca workstation is each core should have 8 gb of ram so if you have 16 uh, core system you should have the uh, ram of 128 gb if you have a uh, four core system then uh, 18 to 4 24 uh, gb uh, ram you should have on your system then populating or placing the ram on all the ram slots will yield uh, a very high uh, uh, i mean uh, the speed of the solution will be high 
the matrix calculation uh, or the uh, all rest of the things will be uh, much faster but if you out of four if you place only two ramps the speed will not be that high so populating all the ram slots uh, is one of the important thing then 4gb plus nvidia quadro series or amd radon pro series graphics card is required uh, quadro series are uh, specifically designed for the professionals uh, so it is recommended uh, same thing is about the radon pro these uh, graphics cards are only for the display purpose i am talking if you want gpu accelerators then you should go with uh, tesla or uh, instinct series in case of amd then you should have a 512 gb m.2 ssd uh, that is required uh, to run the os and the application then hdd for data storage which is slow one but uh, once you run your problem you can move it to the hdd just for the storage purpose now uh, one important thing uh, most CAD applications use single core for specific operation hence single core frequency is important higher is better so uh, for the CAD systems uh, they uh, generally prefer having a very high uh, clock frequency for the core a single core frequency uh, uh, and for the CA side if you talk um, for meshing purpose having a, a single core frequency very high will do the meshing somewhat faster so uh, single core frequency is also an important aspect so tips for higher speed so use a good uh, cpu cooler so that temperature uh, low temperature in cpu will give more space for overclocking and it can enable turbo mode on its own uh, okay so you can disable the hyper threading so that you can use the more cache memory of the processor if possible place all ramps in available slots with same frequency latency size and type uh, this will definitely help to uh, increase the speed of the system then use gpu accelerator to speed up simulation a minimum 8 gb of ram per cpu core or 16 gb of ram per million degrees of freedom uh, you should be using use m.2 ssd as solver directory so it can uh, uh, do the uh, means writing and reading kind of uh, writing the result file and uh, the other database file faster use red arrays for high data transfer speed so red arrays are nothing but uh, you can connect uh, four or uh, kind of hard disk in uh, in a in a synchronized manner to get the benefit of a very high data transfer speed uh, thanks for watching. I hope you will like this video. Uh, I would like to request you to subscribe to the channel. Uh, this is only the motivation for us uh, to making all these things happen. Uh, and you are requested to follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn and Twitter. Thanks.